The Buffalo Niagara LGBTQ History Project was founded in 2016. We are a volunteer-run organization that preserves and shares the histories of all local LGBTQ community members. My name is Adrian Hill. I'm the co-founder of the Buffalo Niagara LGBTQ History Project. We create events that uncover um, moments in local Western New York LGBTQ history. We try to find a lot of ways to share that history. Um, from Our current project is called She Walked Here, a celebration of the 25th anniversary of Boots of Leather, Slippers of Gold. Like that. We're just celebrating Boots of Leather, Slippers of Gold. Something so a walking tour of the bars that were popular at the time. Or, uh, the, the walking tours, we would like to have water and also, you know, like some nutritious snacks for people. Uh, also, you know, a way to uh, offer rides or, you know, any help to people. And also we want to film the tours. We want to do um, a discussion on butch femme sexuality. By way of conveying that sexuality, teaching people the dances that were popular in the bars at the time. And that if um, we emphasize the fact that the person's presence at these events is their contribution, their representation in the kind of living history of what this history project is documenting, Both of the authors live in Buffalo, so we can have conversations with them. This idea of kind of like filling a gap in like LGBTQ history that just had not been filled yet. And this this uh, elision of working class lesbians, I think that that feeling of like your presence is almost a representation in history is like really good as well. What we, what we know and what we have recorded about working class like lesbians <laughs> in the United States in the mid-20th century is, like, this is our, our biggest source of information. Right. It is just as important to preserve the history of local, small city, small town, LGBTQ histories as it is to preserve the histories in big cities, like... Most of that history subject yeah. school, yeah. but we don't got it. Yeah. Connecting your lived experience to the history of the text and, like, specifically doing a lot of the reading that is the oral history for it. It's really important. In promoting dialogue within the LGBTQ community about our past and our, our present that is intergenerational, interracial, intergender, includes everybody in the LGBTQ community. So that's a little bit about us.